Hello and welcome. Today's video will be about uh, your furnace flame sensor troubleshooting and cleaning. Now here we have a photo of a variety of different uh, flame sensor styles for different models of furnaces. Um, so they all don't look like, but as long as you can identify it, uh, you'll be able to replace it, clean it, uh, you know, whatever it needs. And uh, typically the most common furnace issue that uh, I find in the winter is a dirty flame sensor. Um, so the majority of the time all they do, all, all they need is a little cleaning. Uh, they do go bad, but it's, it's rare. Um, like I said, the majority of the time they just have to be pulled off, cleaned up. And uh, here in a bit I'm going to show you a video of uh, how we measure it, uh, uh, take it off, clean it, uh, reinstall it. Now what the flame sensor is and what it does is it senses the burner flame as the uh, burners uh, light up. Now if you had seen my um, sequence of operation video, um, when there's a call for heat, the inducer motor will come on which closes the pressure switch, sends a signal down to the board, control board, to start the ignition process. The igniter will glow red hot, a little bit of a pause, and then the gas valve is energized, releasing gas into the burners, um, which uh, ignite the burners. And when they ignite, the flame touches the flame sensor. And the flame sensor will then send the signal back down to the board to keep the burner running, to keep the furnace running. So it really is just a safety feature. So for example, if the flame um, igniter, if the igniter fails, um, the gas valve will open but without the igniter to ignite the, bur the burners, uh, there'll be no flame. The flame sensor can detect that and it'll shut the gas valve off. Um, so uh, again, it's a safety feature so that the flame or that the gas does not continue to run in the furnace. And uh, that's the uh, function of the flame sensor. We're gonna uh, look at that video here in just a bit. Now the flame sensor is measured in microamps and you can see the meter on the screen here. It's got that little UA. Uh, that's the microamp setting. That's where you're going to read the microamps on the flame sensor. Uh, typically, the microamps will be between 3 and 4. Um, if you're down to 1, uh, something like that, um, most likely, yeah, you need to pull that off, get it cleaned up, and uh, reinstall it. And uh, But we'll take a look at that video here real quick now and uh, show you how we do that. Okay, so here we're going to watch the video of the testing and the uh, cleaning of the flame sensor. So the flame sensor just has one wire. You take that off just like that, just like I did. Now your black lead of your meter, you'll put into the wire that would go to the flame sensor. And then the red wire, you would touch the flame sensor. And again, you already have your uh, meter set to microamps. Uh, so what I'm doing now is holding the door switch closed so that the furnace energizes and powers up. And then the sequence of operation again is that the inducer motor comes on closes the pressure switch which sends the signal down to the control board to start the ignition process. The igniter will glow red hot uh, just like it is right there. You can see that glow. And then um, the uh, gas valve will energize releasing the gas into the burners at which point they will ignite. And here in just a second right here you see the uh, reading on the bottom number 2.3 2.4. That's the microamps and that's a little bit low. Now if you were reading zero then uh, the mic, uh, the uh, flame sensor would be bad and you'd want to replace it at that point. But here it's just a little low, so probably just needs a cleaning. Very simple to take off, one screw, take it off of there. And if you notice on the flame sensor, you got a white uh, carbon build up there. And that's kind of what's blocking the flame sensor for getting the full microamp readings. So you just take a light piece of worn sand cloth um, or a dollar bill or maybe even a, um, a soft green uh, uh, thing that you would use to wash dishes. Like, I don't know the name of that, a scouring pad, I guess, but uh, something non-abrasive. You don't want to put scratches onto that flame sensor. And so you go ahead and, and just put that right back on. And uh, we'll retest that here, see if that made an improvement. And if not, then yeah, we'd probably have to replace it. So again, um, your black lead uh, will be into the wire that would go to the flame sensor, the black lead of the, of the uh, meter, your red one, you'll touch the flame sensor with that. 
and then we'll go through and power up the furnace by holding that bottom door switch closed again which starts the system and uh, again sequence of operation inducer comes on closes the pressure switch sends a signal down to the board which starts the ignition process uh, igniter glows red hot uh, after a pause the um, gas valve will get energized ignite the burners the flame touches the flame sensor and here in a second we'll get that reading on the bottom numbers of the meter yeah which we have 3.6 so that's a that's a good improvement 3.7 so um, that's all that that flame sensor needed it just uh, needed a cleaning um, again if you're reading zero then at that point uh, you would need to replace it and just put your wire back on and you're good to go okay guys hey thanks for stopping by i really appreciate it hopefully you got something out of it and um, if you ever need uh, help with uh, diagnosing your furnace uh, just leave a comment and i'll try to help you out and as best i can but thanks again guys and uh, take care